Hayes came out to his fans in 2010, but he had already come out to his family. He was only 18 years old at the time and the year was 1998. The actor said his mother did not react well and told him to see a shrink. She also wrote him a 10-page letter letting him know God did not approve. Sean added that now his mother is completely supportive of his sexuality. Though Sean Hayes came out to his fans in 2010, he had already come out to his family in 1998 when he was only 18 years old. But the Will and Grace actor told People this week that it was not an easy process as his mother treated him as if he was sick and needed to be healed. It's so cliché that it was during Thanksgiving weekend, said the star. My mom said I needed to go see a therapist. She wrote me a 10-page letter, both sides on legal pad size paper. This is not what God. You know, the whole uneducated view of it. Hayes also that for years he had kept his sexual identity from his family because times were different then. I kept it hidden, the fact that I was in high school plays, from my brothers and my family because this is 1986, being gay then was different, he added. I kind of knew I was, but not quite yet. I associated, like society taught me, that theater was for gays, and it was for sissies, and things like that. Things that you were taught to be ashamed of. Now his mother is very supportive of him, however. She became educated and had friends who were gay people, said the cat in the head star. She was like, oh I see you're just like me, and all that. It became fine and wonderful, and then she became so supportive and awesome. Sean has explained before that he regrets waiting so long to come out. But he chalks it up to the pressures of dealing with fame from his hit series Will & Grace, which is returning to NBC. I was so young it made me go back in the closet with the media because I was so overwhelmed at 26 or 27 said Sean. I didn't want the responsibility, I didn't know how to handle the responsibility of speaking for the gay community. I always felt like I owed them a huge apology for coming out too late. In 2016 he said he was ashamed and embarrassed about staying silent for so long. Looking back at my choice to stay silent, I am ashamed and embarrassed. What was I thinking? He said at the Trailblazer Awards. I know I should have come out sooner, and I'm sorry for that, especially when I think about the possibility that I might have made a difference in someone's life. I would probably be able to sleep a lot better than I do if I had acted sooner, but such is life. We learn our lessons only when we are ready. So hopefully life is as much about what we do after we learn those lessons. And he added that using celebrities as an example of tolerance helps people. Give them tools to communicate to kids and their families that being gay is as normal as being straight, he said. This comes just after news broke that Jay Jennifer Lopez is set to make her comeback as a guest star on Will & Grace. This time round, the 48-year-old will play two characters, herself, and her shades of blue persona detective Harley Santos. J. Lo appeared in the season 6 finale back in 2004, when Karen, Megan Mullally, having run into her in a bathroom, discovered she was an old friend of her maid Rosario. She then convinced her to sing at her wedding to Lyle Finster, played by John Cleese, at which Jack, Hayes, fills in as a backup dancer. During the episode, Lopez poked fun at herself, demanding everyone wear her new glow fragrance and branded jeans.
she also returned for the season 7 premiere, in which she fires her by then full-time backup dancer Jack, but gets him a job as a dancer for Janet Jackson. NBC, which broadcasts both Will and Grace and Shades of Blue, has not any further details about the upcoming guest slot. The sitcom, which, 